Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fish with Matt channel. See. How are we doing everybody? Welcome in. Hopefully the microphone is working. Should be. We are cracking up a vertical live. We are trying to do a video, but I'm sort of relaxing a little bit too much to actually be filming a video. So I doubt that I'm actually going to get any footage from this session. So yeah, going to crack up a uh, live stream, say hello to people. And uh, yeah, see if we can catch a fishy on the live. Currently haven't had anything. We've been down here since about quarter past 12. So it's been about an hour and a half. Need to check that right hand rod to make some more baits up. But yeah, so I said, I've been, been a bit lazy and um, just been chilling because I'm pretty tired and we've been out twice in the past two nights. Uh, so yeah, we will make some baits up and then um, see what happens. Just a dad last fishing, how you doing? Kojak, welcome in guys. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Paul Lear, welcome in, nice to see you. We are just chilling. I don't think we're gonna be able to make a video out of the footage so far. I don't want to be uploading another video down here, just catching um, basically dogfish. We haven't had a single fish yet. We've been down there for an hour and a half and I'm gonna be leaving in, uh, at least packing down in about an hour's time. So I thought I'd quack, crack open a vertical live, give it a go, see what happens. See if I can show you guys a fishy. Can you all hear me? Do let me know if you can hear me. That is the most important thing at the minute. Fish frustrations, they do, mate. Welcome in. Nice to see you, John. Cheers for the stickers. I got them. Picture, audio, perfect. Sounds perfect. Happy days. Go well, bud. Just cheering, watching you. Yeah, I. <laughs> I have um, been playing on my second phone basically. I haven't been watching the rods to be honest. I'm uh, not really in the mood to do a video at the minute. I don't know why, but um, obviously it would be great to have a video for Friday, but missing one week hopefully won't do too much damage to uh, the YouTube algorithm, everything like that, keeping the channel healthy. I may be able to get some sort of video sorted out, like a product review, like I said yesterday, I might be able to do a product review and uh, film that and get that sorted. So maybe I'll do something like that would be nice to get a uh, video out for Friday though, to be fair. We'll see. But yeah, I just don't want to be posting a blank or a, a bad session down here again. I want to make a good session. Bass fishing with Paul, how you doing? Welcome in. Nigel's free afternoon, guys and girls, how you doing? Welcome in, everybody. Hope you are all well. We're going to bring in the right hand roll. We've got a whole squid on there. We're going to replace it with a whole squid. I think we've had a couple of bites on there. We did have a double sand eel bait out there. We had a couple of bites on that, um, but the hook was blunt. So I uh, took it off, put a new hook on. Yep, hello mate, I'm uh, fishing a pond and lost count of how many you've had. Just popped in to say hi and heading back out. Tight lines by the stick fishermen, how you doing mate? That's awesome. Happy days mate, I might have to give a bit of a pond fishing a go. Maybe uh, come join you two. Sounds like good fun though mate, happy days. Right, let's do a bait change and have a look if we've got a fishy or not. I think we may have had a bite on this rod, so potential for a fishy like a dog, something like that. We shall see. <clears throat> Feels like there could be a tiny amount of weight on here. Don't feel too promising though, I'm not going to lie. We have got a very, very windy day today. I uh, smashed my phone protector, screen protector, so hopefully that has protected my actual phone screen. Tent hasn't blown away yet, which is cool. No, I don't think there's a fish on here. But yeah, it's going to chill for an hour or so and um, keep this live feed up. And then I've got some stuff to do this evening. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a product review or something like that in the evening for the Friday. Right then, that squid bait looks kind of untouched, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Bit of a weird one. Dan came down here yesterday and he had 10 dogfish, something like that. But um, we're not having much luck at the minute. Don't know if I'm using bigger baits, who knows? But yeah, just chilling. Jamie, how you doing? Jamie, I have been, uh, had some suggestions to make you a moderator in the channel. Would you like to be a mod? Let me know. You're always here in the daytime and the evening streams to be fair. And uh, being a different time zone could be pretty helpful. So um, if you want to be moderator on the channel, Jamie, I would uh, happily give you that position. Let me know. Had yeah, someone recommend you? So, someone in the chat. 
Let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, and get you instantly nice and blue. Just getting another whole squid wrapped on up. Afternoon, Ben, how you doing, mate? We are doing pretty bad at the minute in terms of fishing. Yesterday we blanked. As you may have seen, in the day before that we had two strapped congas. I think that spot is, like I said, on my blacklist now, so I'm not going to go there for the rest of the year, probably. Unless uh, some dire circumstance happens where I want to go down there, I don't know. But uh, um, down here we've had nothing. I've sort of been chilling, though. Been hitting the fishing hard recently, so just wanted to chill. I was filming a video, but we haven't had a fisher yet, so as I said, I don't want to be uploading a blank or dogfish video again down here. Want to save it for something like catching smooth hounds or a bass, if we are going to get one somewhere down here. Baits today, I went to the bait shop this morning uh, on the way down, so big thanks to the people that sent super chats recently. We uh, got some squid, we got some black lug. Big Mike and uh, the stick fisherman, they uh, sort of, uh, what's the word, inspired me to get some black lug. Hasn't done much at the minute. I'm not the best fan, biggest fan of it, but um, it definitely has its uses. But yeah, we've got squid, we've got black lug, and we have sand eel. We're putting on a whole squid bait now. So you are going to pin this on, get it standing out. Of course, using the uh, sea weights gear, got lovely sea weights weight and the sea weights pulley rig. Kojak did, uh, Matt just asked him to say something, okay, did Matt just ask me something? Indeed, Jamie, would you like to be blue? Would you like to be a moderator on the channel? Let me know. And that's the same offer on uh, Dangler's channel as well. If you want to be uh, mods on both our channels, we would appreciate it. There's not a huge amount of moderating that he's doing. Most of the time, me and Dan are sat behind the camera and we uh, nip stuff that he's moderating in the bud, but um, obviously, when there are a couple of troublemakers coming in with YouTube sharing the channel out and stuff like that, we will get a couple of uh, weirdos coming in that we might need to uh, give a slap, per se. So if you want to join the moderator team, I'd appreciate it. If not, no worries. Right then, let's get this whole squid cast out. Whee! So yeah, no fish as of uh, yet, but we have just been chilling, really. Would have been nice to have some ragworm as always, but with the neap tides, there's uh, no chance of the big diggers getting out at all. There are some other people fishing down there. I think that's where Dan probably was fishing yesterday. Two guys fishing down there. They've been here a little bit uh, shorter time than me. Catching fish, but um, not too bothered. Just nice to get the uh, community together. Just say hello, isn't it? Had a phenomenal live stream of support yesterday. So thank you to everybody who was there last night. 350 plus likes, that was insane for a channel of my size. Had 200 viewers at one point as well. Absolutely crazy. So, right then, what are we saying? Hey, Dangler's in the house. See where he's in the house. How you doing, Craig? Jamie said yes. Matt, did you get any anchovies? Paul, I didn't actually. That was probably good. Oh, hang on, I'll get a bite on the left hand rod. I just saw that. We just had a bite on the left hand rod. Interesting, let's go. Okay. Um, that is going to be a job for going to the other bait place I go to, not the tackle shop. So um, I will get that sorted, Paul, don't you worry. We are getting our first definite bite though on the left hand rod there. I saw that. Cool, sweet isn't that? We'll keep an eye on that. I can't remember what bait that was. I think that's a squid and sand eel wrap. Got some dogs on the beach as well, gonna have to watch out for them. Jamie's a great mod, seen her mod on a few channels. Great lass, happy days, and we'll get that sorted. I'm the weirdo, yeah, fair play. I'll do it for you, Matt, I like your channel, I appreciate it. Dang, what are you saying, ho for? <laughs> Hope everyone's good, ho. <laughs> Lovely, there you go then, Jamie, we will get you in blue. Add as a moderator, happy days. Jamie, welcome to the moderating team, thank you so much. Andrew NUFC, how you doing, welcome in. We had just had our first decisive bite on the left hand rod. We've got a squid and sand eel wrap on there, so it's most likely a doggy dog. That's good news, why not, eh, why not? Thank you, no, thank you, Jamie, thank you. Yeah, Paul, I will, um, next time I go to the uh, big tackle shop, I will uh, get some anchovies, don't you worry. Do appreciate your super chat suggesting that. I'll go down to uh, Waitrose and get some. Tinned anchovies. 
Oi. Oh, I think I just peed myself. <clears throat> Gonna keep an eye on that rod. And uh, I guess make another bait up. Squid and sand eel. Squid and sand deal. We'll do that again. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Uh, they're great bait and the no tin ones don't work. Well, you never know, might give that a go to be fair, not a bad shout. I might do a silly bait challenge. Need to catch some proper fish first to do that sort of thing. But um, yeah. You look good in blue, Jamie. Go, oh, Dan's flirting already. Oh, there you go, another bite on the left hand rod. Go on, it'd be nice if that was an early smooth down to a ray. Here we go, go on. Go on. That's got a brand new hook on it as well, so um, that's happy days. Does that look like a doggy bite? I'm not sure. We might find out in a minute. Hi, man, all in chat have shared out the outcast now. Puds, thank you so much. Thanks to you and Chuckle T, my friend. Very much appreciate it, guys. Big Steve, another bite again. So yeah, targets down here today were an early smooth hound, a bass, a ray, an eel, and uh, obviously dogfish will be around. So probably gonna see one of those today. Near try to get out and target some decent fish, like some nice bass in the river. So hopefully I can give that a go at some point. Probably, uh, do that next week if the tides are right. I reckon they might be. So if we can get our hands on some ragworm. There we go, another bite again. Might have a look at that rod, it's probably a dogfish. But um, just making up another squid and sand eel wrap to replace that one. We all know the dogfish love a sand eel. Yeah, thanks so much to everybody who was in the live stream last night and just supporting the channel in general. Another bite. We are growing really, really well at the moment. How come you're in a portrait, not landscape, bud? Uh, during the day, we crack up uh, a portrait one because it attracts some new people during the day. It's a you know, different sort of thing to do. Uh, but obviously in the evening one, we keep it horizontal because obviously people prefer that. But uh, during the day, it can uh, bring some extra new people for a channel. Have I cast in tight lines from New Zealand? There you go, there's a new person. That's why we do the old... Uh, portrait ones. Uh, how you doing Izzy from the Z Seven? So uh, we are casting probably about 30 or 40 metres out. We're fishing in a place called Sandy Point in Hailing Island in the UK. And uh, it's a, a deep channel between um, two bits of land. This is an island, then there's uh, the other side you can see over there obviously. But uh, we're on Hailing Island and uh, there's the harbour down there, Chichester Harbour, and this is the uh, strip of water between them both. Uh, it's quite deep out there, so if you cast in 40, 50 metres out, that sort of thing, probably 40 metres, then you get into a deep channel of water and uh, hopefully you get into uh, bass, congas, rays and uh, smooth hounds. Every time I do portrait, I get loads of trolls here and mods have work to do. Uh, to be fair, I don't get too many in here, to be honest. We don't get too many. Right, I reckon we're going to check that left-hand bait. We've made up another squid and sand eel wrap to go out instead, so let's give it a check and see if we've got a fishy. Be nice if we could. Yeah, we're only going to be live for about an hour because I've got an uh, appointment at the uh, doctor's at 4.15, so I've got to be uh, back home for that. And I've got some stuff to do in the evening as well. Right then, there's a little bit of weight on here. I believe. Maybe, hopefully. Probably going to be a doggy dog. Hmm. Can't tell to be honest, my arms hurt too much to uh, tell if there's weight on. Do we have a fishy? I don't know. Shoo. Shoo wait. All right then, that bait's been chomped up, so we'll put another squid and sand eel wrap out, my friends. Big sad, big sad. Yeah, had a fair few good bites on there. We have got a brand new 2-0 hook on there. I literally put on about half an hour ago, so. Who knows, how's it going, Dale Barnes? How you doing, mate? What appointment? <laughs> you can't get one, I'm not sure. Um, 
I don't know. I had a problem that I phoned 111 for. Basically, it's my knees. I'm probably overworking my knees at the minute between work and fishing. But uh, one one could be pretty painful when they uh, got me a next day doctor's appointment. And then uh, they put me in to see the uh, first physio or something like that that's going to see if I'm dying, basically. I've got some other stuff going on. Apparently, uh, local Mark's had some vitamin D deficiency because uh, he's a bit of a night owl. And then uh, I've got the same sort of thing going on, I think. I've got a bit of a vitamin D deficiency at the minute, so good fun. There you go. Lise, all doing? How you doing? Cool. Happy days. Welcome in. Nice to see you, Dale, my friend. Do smash that like button, everybody. I think if you hold down the live stream or click the uh, top three dots, you can find that right hand rod. Do I look up and see a pull down? I don't know. But yeah, we've got some pretty nasty wind gusts today. It's about 25 knots. I think constantly, and then probably some bigger gusts. We have got the tents up, which is Coolio Beanios. But yeah, won't be live for too long. But we'll try and make the most of it. Oh, that's a bite, yeah, we're getting a bite. There we go. That is a bite again, that is a whole squid. Sort of a little smooth houndy, to be fair, that bite, I'm not gonna lie. That is what we're going after, an early smooth hound. Wouldn't that be nice? That was a whole squid bait. They sort of uh, either take it straight away, slack line, yeah, or tap, 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 and bang, gone. But uh, yeah, a little bit early for them, but you never know. We'll keep an eye on it, my friends. Get this squid and sand eel wrap chucked out, CC soon. Low tide today down here was 12.30. We are on a neap tide. So uh, we should be able to fish down here, probably till about six o'clock if you wanted to, but unfortunately we cannot. What a shame. But yeah, fingers crossed that I'll be able to get some sort of um, video out for Friday. It may be uh, relevant to channel product review. I was thinking about doing a sib cleaning video because I need to clean the sib after that session two weeks ago. A bit naughty. Obviously the uh, sib cleaning video is not relevant to uh, most of you who haven't got sibs, but uh, to the 5% that do and then the other people in the world that have sibs could be helpful. Like a bit of cleaning me. Arse dangler, I like a bit of cleaning, but only one can be bothered. <laughs> right then. So yeah, whole squid on the right hand rod and then squid and sand eel on the left hand rod. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Malaika Nazari with some uh, emotes. Hello, LR, mate, I'm British. Hello, how you doing? Ah, I don't mind the verticals, but horizon on the... Uh, the HU, uh, huh, what? It's going to be annoying. That horizon, what are you on about, George, my friend? Welcome in, George, nice to see you. Just thought I'd whack up the uh, vertical because I'm not sure we're going to get a video out of this and uh, you get a bit more channel growth on the uh, portraits during the day. Still got to clean my car out from the last sea fishing mission. Go, I clean my car out every, I don't know, one and a half months, getting a bite on the right hand rod again. Yeah, I don't clean my car very often anymore. When I was at college, I used to clean it like every week, probably, maybe even uh, more than that, like hoovering it and cleaning the outside. Don't know why, but I guess it was a, a new car sort of thing to me. Uh, you use braid or mono and do you use shock leader? I have a 6.1 kilogram suffix braid on mainline with a suffix advanced shock leader on the uh, not level. Ah. The camera's on the wonk, is it? Shouldn't be. Is that better? I don't know. Where are you fishing if it's not a secret? Cowlass, we are in Hailing Island down Sandy Point. I don't know if it's on the wonk, shouldn't be. It's pretty straight to me. Guess just the beach is uh, not flat. Uh, I use 18 pound Daiwa tournament line. That's the uh, yellow stuff on the reels. And then I use Axia 80 pound braided chalk leader. I don't use tapered chalk leader or anything like that. I like the braided stuff. Not sure why, but the guy at the tackle shop recommended it to me about a year and a half ago and uh, haven't stopped using it since. Any bites? JJ, we have been getting bites. We just brought in our left hand rod, which had a squid and sand eel wrap and uh, it was smashed up. So we've cast another one out. And then the right hand rod, we've got a whole squid. We've been getting taps on that as well. 
So yeah, we just started getting bites as soon as we started this stream. Skeet, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. £60 braid for sea fishing. Yeah, we had someone come in yesterday in one of the live streams and ask about what um, line to use. It's, it's more down to personal preference and where you fish. My phone's dying with back when I get home. No worries, Jamie. Appreciate you coming on. JJ, what's the biggest fish caught? Oh, here we go. George is going to say, don't get him started. It's a £36 tope, and we caught it over there in the harbour, down there on the inflatable boat that we've got. £36 shark. Absolute chunk. Just filled my reels with black mono. Nice. Difficult to see black mono though, surely. Skeet, my friend, how you doing? Okay to school is. I, uh, I can't pronounce your name, but hello, how you doing? Sammy Hollis, welcome in. Good afternoon. We're going to be live for about an hour, everybody. And then I'm going to be packing up and sending it home. I've got stuff to do this afternoon. We've had no fish so far, unfortunately. But uh, that's just the way to go sometimes. Should be able to pull something out. I think we've had another bite on the right hand rod. A lot of windy business going on. Got the tent pegged down. Is there any groupers in them waters? No, I don't think we have groupers in the UK. I do not think we have groupers. We may have some sort of a uh, sea enough fish, but I don't think so. Now using red braid with black specks in it, 50 pounds straight, no shock. Fair play. Each to their own, I guess, each to their own. But yeah, the boy is live, James. Ooh, KP, James, the boy. How you doing, Jim Bob? Oh, lovely, you probably heard some ASMR there. Drinking ASMR, hope not. Probably did, oh well. That's what my dad calls me. James C, what does he call you? Big James, Jim Bob. The boy James. Matt, scroll back, I explained about the pick. Richie D, how you doing? What's your go-to rig? Hi all in chat, my go-to rig is a pulley rig. Good you, Matt. Happy days. Scroll back. I'll explain about the pick. Let's have a look. Ooh. 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 Uh, where? I don't see it. Uh, can I ask what's the ideal or good weather conditions tied uh, for the south slash southeastern coast? Is that in the UK, is it? ideal or good weather conditions. Uh, it depends what you want to go for. For flat fish like plaice and flounder off the beach down like Brighton, you want it to be a nice warm sunny day with uh, no wind. So the sea is nice and flat calm and you want the uh, sea to be clear, that's for plaice. That's also good weather along the south coast for the rays. You want to be fishing in the evening and daytime to be fair, you can catch rays. Uh, rays tend to like the calmer weather. Um, for stuff like bass, you want to be fishing in the rough weather. Obviously, you can still catch bass in um, non-stormy weather, but they uh, do tend to be uh, more active during the stormier, rougher weather. But um, it depends what you want to do, basically. What did you catch today? We've had nothing so far, unfortunately. Had a bit of tough one. We've had some bites, and we get a bite right now on the right-hand rod. We'll have to check that in a minute. Be able to have a bit of a chill session. It's in between Sammy Hollis's comments. I'll have one more look. How far up are we saying? I'm not seeing it. You're probably best off reposting it if you want me to read it. Maybe uh, put a bell on the tip of the pole so you can uh, read. Ah, we don't like the bells around here, Mike. People don't like bells. Bit of a pain to be fair. I used to use them, but I don't do it anymore. Welcome in, though, buddy. Casters, how you doing? Nice to see you. 
How are we all doing this afternoon? Right then, now we've got a bait to chuck out. Let's get something sorted. We'll go for a double sand eel next. We've got a whole squid on the right hand rod, everybody, on a pulley rig, and then a squid and sand eel wrap on the left hand uh, rod on a pulley rig as well. I'm getting bites on the whole squid. Probably looking at a dogfish, something like that. We're going for bass, we're going for rays, we're going for smooth hounds, we're going for eels. This spot must be good for uh, rays and stuff. I don't see why there wouldn't be rays swimming up and down here. What should I show you the uh, bronze whaler we bought last week? If you have me on Facebook, you can send me a picture like that. Is that uh, in America, is it, or is that in the UK? I've heard of uh, Boston whalers, something like that in America. I've thought about getting a boat or uh, getting a project boat sort of thing and building it up, but um, don't know. Got the sib at the minute, but uh, obviously having a boat in a marina somewhere where you can just hop on and send it out would be uh, very, very nice, but obviously very expensive. Marina costs, fuel costs, everything like that. Wee, come on the fish, Ollie goes fishing. How you doing? Can you see it now just above bass fishing comment? Huh? No. Can't see it. JJGT underscore VI, how you doing? Nice to see you, mate. Welcome in. If you're on the YouTube channel and you're looking to uh, watch some fishing content, we do live streams once or twice a week and we try and do a video every Friday. So if that's the sort of thing that you want to be looking and watching, then... Um, Hit that sub button, do appreciate it, everybody. <clears throat> in Las Vegas, the striped bass fishing at the lake is on fire right now. Yeah, you got some good fishing in America, definitely got some good fishing. Very jealous. Thought bronze whalers were fictional, I only came across them in a dredge. I didn't realise that almost all the fish in the game are based on real fish. Very confused. You do fishing? Happy days, mate. Las Vegas. Pretty edgy, pretty edgy. Looks like we had a pull on that left-hand rod. Maybe getting a bite. Oh, maybe. Be careful of dogs and stuff. Uh, we normally hunt snapper and uh, kingies in Australia. Ah, very nice. Well, snapping turtles? Not a fan of that. That's scary, man. Or a red snapper, is that the one? I don't know. Head over to Fishing with Matt, sponsor, sea weights for custom weights, rigs, pop-ups, lures, squid jigs, sea weights.co.uk. There you go, everybody. Uh, what rods am I using? I'm using the uh, first edition Penrath rod, surf cast on the left hand, and then on the right hand, we've got the Penrath 2 rod. Bit of a sucker for the Penrath stuff, I'm not sure, but it's uh, cheap, functional, it works, it's happy days. The, uh, there's a bit of a difference between them both. Off the top of my head, no idea. Um, but the right one is a little bit more firm than the, the old one. Uh, camera is not on the wonk, it's set at an angle, causing optical illusions, making it look like the horizon narrow on the left and wide to the right. Yeah, 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 that's fair play. Fair play, that's the sort of thing I was uh, thinking. Correct, red snapper, kingfish are yellow tails. Kingfish, I've uh, seen a Marco Pierre white kingfish meme. Like a salmon, is it, sort of thing? Or a trout. Where is my kingfish? We can drive to San Diego and fish um, four to 500 pound yellowtail. Yeah, you guys in America have got some nutty fishing. Oh, that's a bite on the left. Nutty fishing in America. You can go to a pier and drop a massive fish bait down and catch a fish 10 times the size. We can't do that round here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Maybe when the channel's got 100K subscribers and I can afford to go to America for a fishing trip, I might do that. <laughs> Sup, Lucky, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Nice, uh, looking for a new pair of all-rounders. I mean, if you want cheap rods that will work, then uh, the Penrath 2 is pretty good. Base level sort of entry rod. I can say I'd recommend it. I've had uh, no problems. Reason nobody could see previous comment, I used too many letters, didn't realise. Oh, okay, that's all right. You talked about um, tuna, yotel. Yet to get one. Very edgy. Caught plenty of albacore or, or mac tuna. 
we get albacore tuna over here. I think it's a, a posh, that's a posh tuna probably. At least the posh shops sell it in a nice glass jars with uh, olive oil in it. Getting some pull downs on my left hand rod. So it's good all round a rod. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of, um, plenty of decent rods around. How's it going? Going for bass or dogfish today? Joseph, that guy, how you doing? You can obviously dream of catching stuff like the bass, the rays, the eels, and uh, smooth hounds, that's what we're going for. We imagine we're gonna get a dogfish or so, something like that. We're gonna be live for about another 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, might be able to get an hour, and then I'm gonna to have to uh, send it home and uh, sort some stuff out this evening and afternoon. Don't get a project, I'm just done with mine, it costs loads of money, we're ready mate, buy a boat. Uh, ready to go, just a heads up, can do. 2.42k subs, thank you so much everybody, really do appreciate it. No thanks, what do you mean bleed? You're back at it, love it, Scorpio Ken, how you doing? Have Sonics, too tippy, had sandstorms before, super firm. Yeah, I mean the Penrath is pretty tippy, the first edition, and then the second one is a little bit heavier, so it's kind of nice. I've used um, a six and bait before, and that was uh, way too firm. That's a... Uh, Chesil Beach, bad weather and Bristol Channel sort of rod, isn't it? But um, yeah, the Penrath 2 is pretty good for the money. Moved to Selzy recently, um, here waiting for the smooth downs. Any tips when they come? Is distance more important? Brandon, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Uh, smooth down fishing down Selzy. Uh, you can use, do West Beach is a good one. There's a, well, East and West Beach, they both fish well for the smooth downs. Um, you've got to be more aware of the tides down there because when there's big tides, you'll struggle to hold bottom down Selzy. So um, a lot of the time you won't be able to fish over high tide because it'll be too quick, especially on East Beach. Um, so if you can get down there and knee fish tides, it doesn't have to be really neat, but um, better off doing that. Great baits for smooth hounds are prawns, whole squid and uh, peeler crab, but normal uh, soft or hard shell crab work just as well. But uh, yeah, we are all waiting for the smooth down season this year. That is uh, definitely one of the exciting things coming up. If you have the opportunity to, I would definitely go and harvest drone crabs instead of buying peeler crabs. I never have and never will buy peeler crabs. So easy to go for a drone ones. Obviously, maybe if you're not in the, the right area for it, but um, there isn't an abundance of crabs everywhere, I'd say. Tuna fishing is a 30 to 45 minute battle. There's nothing better. I can barely reel in these days. I've got some problem with my arm. I've probably got like arthritis or something going on. I'll probably uh, die doing a bit of tuna fishing, but it might be something we give a go uh, some point this year. You never know. We're definitely going to be going after the taupe again in the sib. I may try going out a little bit further past the Isle of Wight if uh, Dangler wants to do that sort of thing. I think it's a little bit on, on edge going out on the sib because we haven't got a backup engine, but um, I don't see it being a problem with a 2023 engine, to be honest, but um, you never know. Can you catch congas on rocky slash sandy bottom? Uh, rocky bottom, 100%. Sandy bottom, probably, yeah. Probably. Obviously, congas prefer, I'd say, the rocky bottom because they've got places to hide because they're um, normally chilling in a rocky alcove sort of thing. And then uh, they only come out for uh, food and then go back to their hole sort of thing. The last row we had was uh, far too big to land on the boat. Had to cut her off. Not a fan of the raise on 80 pound with a full squid. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the lifeboat might be coming out. I've got the tractor out and a lifeboat out, whether they're moving stuff around or hopefully not gonna come down here and mow through me. I want to see those poles go flying, Brazil or some. Thank you very much, me too. Bought my own crabs last weekend each time I go out. First time, uh, first year and stocking up, happy days. Any salesy videos in the pipeline, love the content. Brandon, definitely. I do appreciate your support and uh, saying nice comments like that really does give me the, uh, the vigour to keep getting out. Uh, but yeah, Selzy, we have been down there quite often last year. Probably went down there maybe 10 times last year. Uh, it's hit and miss, basically. I've had my second best PB conga down there. I was like, I don't know, maybe just over £10, which isn't massive really. But um, it's been hit and miss. I did do some smooth down live streaming down Selzy West Beach last year. And um, we definitely lost probably a 14, 15 pounder. And we did catch a couple of 12 pounders, something like that. But uh, definitely we'll be going down sales this year for the hounds and the rays. Also visit places uh, along the West Sussex coast as well, like Oldwick and Bogner and stuff like that. So uh, definitely will be videos from down there coming soon. 
Major Yuchi, this is the United Kingdom, my friend, not Australia, but good day, mate. I have a five horsepower Sponda Honda and five horsepower Yamaha. You can use a spare. Fair play. It's a bit of a difficult one. I'm in a spare engine, I see, but I don't think it'd be possible. Do appreciate it though. But yeah, I don't think it'd be possible to do a spare engine on the SIB unless you got it lying on that'd be probably in the way. I'm laying in bed at midnight watching you fish and it's like I'm there with you. Bloody bit of all James C. Happy days, mate. Okay, I just saw UK and your username. Yeah, mate. We are in the amazing, wonderful United Kingdom. All the American prepper, Florida. Nice. Yeah, to be fair, you guys, you Americans, you got the good fishing going on. I might have to go on holiday to America at some point and do some fishing. Do you enjoy your interactive lives, Matt? Uh, had a few decent straps last night hiding from a storm at Weymouth. Nice, Ollie. We were down Old Portsmouth fishing into the uh, Portsmouth Harbour channel and I had nothing last night, literally nothing. Weather was awful. Mermaid Muncher, what are you fishing for? We are going for uh, European bass, going for smooth hounds. We are going for rays and conger eels, but most likely we're going to catch either nothing or dogfish today. We've got a few dodgy things coming through. <laughs> nice message elite there, Kojak, eh? Happy days. Second bet on what line screams first, left rod, paying three to one, right rod, paying four to one, place your bets. <laughs> Yeah, please do keep the language to uh, a zero, basically. We uh, are a family-friendly channel. <clears throat> How's fishing in the UK right now? In Saudi Arabia, we have the bluefin trevally season this time of year. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, fishing in the winter in the UK is pretty bad. It's um, a difficult game. You can get some rays. We had some rays this winter. Uh, we had a couple of other fish. We had some uh, winter bass and some flounder in the river. But um, we haven't had an awful lot. It's more uh, summertime than springtime. When the smooth downs come in, the place come in, and the rays come in is when it gets exciting. And then doing a bit of shark fishing on the little inflatable boat. Can't wait. Right then, I'm going to make another bait up. We've got a double sand eel over here. We've actually got some squid and black lug wraps already made up. We had donated to us yesterday. So uh, yeah, good to do some bait changes. We did have a couple of taps on the rods. Got another troll coming through. Thank you very much. We'll uh, say goodbye to you, my friend. Uh, you don't use conventional reels with a uh, clicker on. Uh, these reels do have clickers, yeah. I don't have a drag set though. Been to Bournemouth before and fishing was good at summer. It's pretty good down there. You have sturgeon. I uh, we may actually have in rivers, I think, but um, I'm not 100% sure. You can get sturgeon down the uh, garden centre though, just go in your pond. Right, let's do a bait change everybody. Right then, this is weighty, what's going on here then? Are we stuck in the ground, have we got some weed? <clears throat> have we got a snag? Seems like a little bit of snag maybe. If there wasn't any wind, it would have been a very, very pleasant day. I don't know how Dan managed to smuggle so many dogfish out. Probably using smaller baits. Nothing on this one. Right, then we're going to put a double sand eel out on this one. That whole squid has been munched by something though. To be fair, Dan had a spider crab yesterday, so that's probably something there could be down here. Yeah, I've got a couple of people turning up and fishing actually down there. Looks like someone's doing some spin fishing or something like that. Don't know what he's doing, that's sort of snag to be fair. A bit weird. A bit weird. See, so yeah, that was a whole squid and the uh, bottom section, tail section had been munched off. So let's get that all replaced. Mr. and Mrs. Diner, welcome in, how you doing? Conventional is uh, what the US call multiplies. Ah, oh, okay. I'm from San Francisco, we uh, get st huge sturgeon, stripers, halibut, happy days. How do you harvest peelers? Uh, I know that some people, they just go and get normal crabs and wait for them to molt sort of thing. 
But uh, it's a game of chance, really. You can go down to uh, places and uh, find the crabs. And that's it, basically. You've got to go and uh, lift rocks up, lift weed up, and uh, get lucky. But a lot of the time, you can find quite a few soft back crabs, which have already um, peeled, basically, already molted. Um, one of the ways to check if you've got a peeler or not is to um, bend one of the uh, sections of their legs and see it when you pull it off if it leaves a uh, molted crab below or if it pops off. If it falls off completely, then you've um, got a normal crab. But if you have soft, mushy crab underneath inside, then it's a peeler crab. They're small squid, isn't it? Uh, they're actually mixed size, but that one's a pretty big one. That was uh, about half the size of the squid. The other part of the body had been taken. Good, thanks, Matt. Happy days, Mr. and Mrs. Diner. Heard talk about foraging for bait. Any experience breeding bait like rag and peeler? Uh, I haven't. Can you? I guess you can breed ragworm. Obviously, you know, yeah, ragworm farms and stuff. Um, I have never delved into anything like that at all. Um, I've foraged. Uh, foraged. I've foraged for crabs before. I've uh, done a little bit of bait digging for try for ragworm. We got some. Uh, I think we got blow lug, something like that, instead, and that was awful. But um, I've never tried to breed or stuff like that. Collectors uh, use crab tiles or pipes when a crab molts, they look for somewhere safe to hide up. Yeah, that's the one. People put big planks of wood and uh, rocks, they prop them up, that sort of thing. They use tiles and uh, guttering. That's a good one, guttering. So, tires as well. What camera are you using, Matt? Uh, is that just a phone stand? Great image quality. It is a iPhone 14 Pro, my friend. But it's all to do with uh, internet speed, I guess, most of the time, because I think YouTube lives are only up to 720p, but then you can do videos at 4K, which we do try to do. Neil Watsy, how you doing, mate? Conditions look slightly better today, lol. To be fair, without the uh, daylight and without the uh, rain, we're basically the same sort of conditions. Very windy, very, very windy. Fishing game rules and regulations are getting tougher every year. Yeah. It's all right for the big trawler ships and stuff like that, but there you go. Cheers for tips. You're very welcome, Carlos, my friend. Call us, Carlos, I'm not sure, but uh, you are very welcome. Right then, let's get this double sand eel bait. So we use the uh, bait mate tool to make a nice little wrap there. So we've got two sand eels with a little fishies, basically. Got them put together like that and on the pulley rig. So you're using a pulley rig with a six ounce lead. We've got a uh, two -ounce hook, I believe. Yeah, you've got some people looking like they're doing some lure fishing over there. Two people lure fishing. One person's got like an American surf style pole stuck in the ground with a rod up in the air. And there's two more fishermen down the end doing a bit of uh, surf fishing. All right then. Let's get this double sand eel out and then we'll check the other bait. Perhaps make one up and then change it. Cool, Leo Beanios. Back in the hot seat. So, so today forgot about the important appointment, but rescheduled it for next week. So, do you get dolphins where you are? Definitely can get dolphins, I imagine. Yeah, we've seen dolphins before off Brighton and off of Chesil Beach. Um, I'm sure they do come around here, but I have never seen them down here. I need to sort my car insurance today, actually. John just reminded me about saying fix me his car. I need to get my insurance done. Uh, right then, we have got a squid and black lug wrap, pre-made one that we are going to put out next. They're not actually that, that, that well um, wrapped up, to be fair. Not going to lie, a bit of a, bit of a weird looking one. Lino, how you doing? Welcome in. How's it going, Matt? Awesome fishing. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Watching in Florida, USA. Happy days. Hope you're having a lovely day over there. 
Right then, let's get that left hand rod brought in and we'll put a squid and black lug bait out and give that a go. Did get some bites on this rod, so could have something sat on the bait, we shall see. There's a bit of weight again, but it popped off like on the other rod when we reeled in a little bit. Right, there's still a bit of weight on here at the minute, so there could be a fishy on here. I'll walk it down just in case. There's a bit of weight on here. We could be into our first fish. Feels a little bit heavier than a dog fish, but I imagine it probably is a dog. Be nice if it was a ray though. Oh, something's fighting back or moving. So it's probably a dog fish curling up and uh, coming in funny. Let's have a look. Be nice if it was a ray though, eh? What we got? I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be a dog fish. There we go, as we thought. We have caught our first fish, everybody. We've caught our first fishy. He's sliding on up the sand. Ooh. <laughs> we haven't blanked today, that's cool. Nothing special, as always, but um, first fish on the live stream and first fish of the day. We got a, a dogfish with a black spot as well. Right then, we are gonna have to get the bait mate tool, not bait mate, the, uh, what's it called? Disgorger for this bad boy. Come on, Mr. Doggy. We try and respect the fish the best we can. Obviously sometimes difficult, but um, today just having to hang him up by the line. Try and pick the dogfish up instead. Well, I'll get him disgorged, everybody, and then I'll show you and get him released. First fishy of the day. We did see the bite, that was on squid and sand hill, so we knew that these were out there. As our good friend South Coast Angler was down here yesterday, catching all of them. Taking that bait nice and deep, ain't you, mate? A bit unfortunate for you. Give me a second. There we go, Coolio Beanios. Here we go, everybody. We have got a dogfish. Ooh. Sweet corn kid, how you doing? Or should I call you Scott Chegg? The boys. How you doing, mate? Steve Clark, welcome in. We've had our first fishy, everybody. Nothing special. Got a cheeky little dogfish. Coolio. Right, let's get him back. Good old doggy dog. Looks like our sand sharks. Yeah, probably is something similar. Small spotted cat shark. Good old dogfish. Got plenty of those around. Right then, we are going to change that squid and sand eel bait out for a squid and black lug bait. Could be a money maker, price of rag, what do you say? Uh, I've been looking into it for rag. Uh, I've got a system design in mind, but need a system for calling ra uh, rag eggs. They only produce eggs every three years, but produce millions. Wow, really? That's interesting. They only produce eggs every three years. Wow. That sounds very interesting. So we've got these uh, squid and black lug pre-made wraps made up. We'll give that a go. Apparently in the spot I was fishing yesterday, there have been some cod coming out. I imagine there could be some cod around here. Here's a deep channel of water. You never know. Our good friend Dangler does have an underwater camera that he was using down here. So if he's got some footage from that, you'll be able to see that in his video, which may be tomorrow. I'm not sure. Welcome in everybody, got 80 people here. Thank you so much for your support everybody. If you are new to the channel, a sub would be very much appreciated. We are growing very, very well at the minute and uh, truly am very, very grateful for everybody's support. We do try and do a live stream once or twice a week and then get a video out on Friday if we can. Uh, we were filming a video down here but I decided to put the live stream up because it was a little bit slow on the fishing. So we may try and get some sort of uh, other relevant piece of content out Friday. If I can get uh, 
chance of doing that. We'll have to see. Uh, I don't have Facebook, but I'll subscribe. And if you're ever in Australia, I'll take you out on the uh, Brisbane Rivers and uh, close ocean on the uncle's yacht. Oi, James C, the boy, fair play, mate. That sounds sick. That's another place I'd like to go to because it's uh, obviously a, a beautiful country. Got lots of stuff going on down Australia. Our uh, brothers in arms, the old Australians. We like the Australians. Um, but yeah, I went to Dominican Republic and that was a 12 hour flight. And what, going to a, Australia is probably like an 18 hour flight. <laughs> Just saying that gives me, gives me the shivers. Uh, what Discord did you use? Apology for spelling. That's probably the right spelling to be fair. I have got a Gemini brand one. Not sponsored, anything like that, but uh, it's just the one I've got. There's plenty of um, this gorgeous out there. This one's got this little hook looking thing down there. So you slide the line through the gap and then uh, get the hook and then pull it out. You respect fish, but dragged it up the beach. I mean, it wasn't that bad, brother. It was literally, it's a sandy beach. It is a sandy beach, my friend. That would not have hurt the doggy dog, don't you worry. They are very tough and hardy fish. Uh, what do you do with stingrays or skate? They're good, for testing. They're good for testing out new equipment. We get them under the San Rafael Bridge with five foot wingspans. Crikey, that's big. Um, what would you do with stings? What do you mean by what would I do with them? If I caught one, we do do ray fishing quite often. We've had quite a few decent ones. We haven't had anything massive so far. Don't think I've had double figure ray before, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Right then, let's get a squid and black lug bait out. At the end of the day, we're dragging the fish up the beach a little bit. When you're uh, hooking a fish anyway, and you're reeling it in a hundred yards, it's going to be uh, on the seabed anyway with the uh, rocks and your weight. So. Bringing it up the sand isn't going to hurt it. Don't you worry, my friend, don't you worry. Right then, squid and black lug wrap going out. We've got double sandy on the other rod. We've had one fish so far, everybody, and that was that doggy dog. Going to be down here for another half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Then I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day. Won't be out this evening, unfortunately, as I'm doing something this evening as well. But we did go live yesterday and the day before in the evening. Probably gonna make up another squid and sand eel wrap. Maybe put a single black lug in there as well. We did get a wrap of black lugs earlier on. I don't know how much it was. But between the bait, squid, sand eel, black lug, and uh, some bait elastic, I think it's 17 quid. Mostly T-bars, Brandon. You're in Australia, we're in the United Kingdom, my friend. Skeet was hidden. Why does Skeet get hidden? Oh, unhidden, thank God. Oi, 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 you probably uh, did that by accident, Skeet. You are back again. Uh, it's a long haul, huh? I hate flying. Always down there at the back of the plane, uh, done easy. Blah. That's what I have, but uh, getting a hook out. Of a deep hooked uh, dog is a pain. Thought there was another one. Uh, there's probably sort of different ones. Just accidentally removed all your messages instead of the other. That's all right. Dogfish inside nearly anything, yeah. Dogfish are a very hardy fish, my friends. Some people plug their wings and make nuggets. Uh. Still one of my heroes, Steve Irwin, the boy. Uh, it's just best to cut the line to the hook if it's too deep. Yeah, that's the one. They have catfish there. We do have catfish in the UK. We do indeed. <clears throat> I subscribe to your channel, Lynn, I appreciate it. Sausage fingers, yeah, Dan's got fat fingers. Can be difficult as well on a phone, on a uh, vertical live. But Skeet, you are all good to go. Master in aquaculture here. The stress response from being hooked is about the worst that happened. Being dragged up the beach just removes some of the mucus layer, which it needs to shed because, oh, here we go. Big Brandon, he knows, he knows. Sherry, how you doing? Welcome in. That can happen if someone posted before you press the button. Yeah, that's the thing as well. 
Ray knobs cheeks are great to eat. Oh, right, they're called knobs, are they? Bit of Ray knob with a knob of butter. Easily done, take the wrong message from moderating. That heart emote thing gets in the way. There are three dots need to click. <laughs> Skeety's a bloody hero and a legend of a man. The boy. Well, the pheromones produce and uh, from stress can cause infections. Fair play, Brandon. Seem pretty knowledgeable. Pretty cool to hear. Yeah, I think uh, a dogfish being dragged up some sand is uh, probably the least of its worries, to be fair. Probably enjoyed it more than uh, not. Here we go then. I've lost my scissors. Absolute classic on the channel. I found them already. Happy days. You do your best to respect the fish. Obviously, it's difficult in some circumstances. I don't think there's many anglers that would go down to the uh, bottom of the seashore down there and pick up a dogfish they brought in straight away. I guarantee that's probably 5% of anglers maybe do that. Cod cheeks are good too. Yeah, Dan said about cod cheeks we caught ears. Roger Redman, how you doing, mate? We've had one dog dog. Masochistic dogfish, the boy. That dogfish might go out and come in on the, the right bait this time, having the time of its life. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? That's the one. Good old dogs. Right, we're gonna do a squid and uh, black lug wrap, I reckon. We got these nice black lugs that were frozen. Actually pretty decent, to be fair. Or at least they seem it. Probably gonna um, leave these ones out to uh, go sticky and dry and stinky in my tackle box, something like that. Good luck, fellas. Fish on, just scrolling through, had to stop. Mermaid muncher, no worries. Do really appreciate your support, my friend. And if you did subscribe, hopefully I'll see you on another live stream. We do do horizontal ones, which is uh, more favoured by the uh, regular people on the channel. So uh, yeah, normally do that on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Bit of a big wide spectrum there, but uh, one of those days in the evening. Have you caught anything? We have caught a dogfish so far, Sherry. Caught a dogfish. We're going after bass, rays, conger eels, and an early smooth hound. Trying our best. We've got squid and sand eel baits out there and a double sand eel at the minute. Going to be putting on a black lug and sand eel bait in a minute. Just making that up now. You'll sub, I appreciate it, my friend. Hope to see you on the next live stream. As I said, we'll hopefully be able to get a video out on Friday. Not sure what it's going to be yet but I'm sure I might be able to do something quickly and uh, of a uh, use to you guys and of good quality as well. Don't want to be uploading bad videos to the channel. And uh, at the minute, this would have been a bad video, catching one doggy dog. Mermaid muncher, good man. Happy days, eh? Happy days. Here in Florida, uh, seasons for red snapper and grouper. Nice. A red snapper, good eating. I don't know if you can eat grouper or not. I know they're, they're massive fish, but I don't know if you can eat them. That 35 pound tote was uh, top shelf. James C was actually a 36 pound, I'll have you know. 36 pound, I'll never forget. I'm uh, not a fishing gal, but watch a few fishing people. Nice, happy day, Sherry. I appreciate you coming on. Yo, Kojak with a five pound super chat. Thank you so much, Kojak. Really do appreciate it. Ooh, the boy, Kojak, absolute legend, mate. Absolute legend, Kojak. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Absolute legend, we'll do a big old Ooh. Hi, Matt, mods, Matt and peeps in chat. Just stop by, tip the like, nick the fish, I appreciate it. Welcome in, hope you're having a good afternoon. We are only live for a short time. Probably got another 20 minutes, uh, to be fair, probably have to end about three o'clock so I can pack everything down and get out of here because I do need to get back home for an appointment at 4.15, so it may be a case of finishing up in the next half an hour or so. Fishing frustrations, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Guys, big explosions and uh, whatever, all that stuff in the chat for fishing frustrations and Kojak. Guys, thank you so much. We'll do a big old C for you boys. Happy days. Ooh. Ooh. Oi, oi, oi. Big old windy winds. Thank you so much, guys. Really do appreciate the support. Really does help. Yo, Lino, $5 super chat. No way, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, thank you. 
No teen actor, can I come? You can come fishing if you want. James C as well. 10 Australian dollars, no way. <laughs> Thanks for the great evening, amazing content. James, thank you so much. Guys, that is amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Wow. 10 Australian dollars, that's the first time we've had some Australian dollars sent over. What an absolute legend. Guys, thank you so much. If you haven't a clue about fishing, you're a worse liar. Lucky, there you go, my friend. You've given me the opportunity to ban you finally. I've been uh, very kind to you. Very kind to you, very understanding of what you've been saying. But um, that's the last straw, my friend, unfortunately. I never claim to be a professional or the best fisherman ever. I just try to get out and uh, try and entertain people. Never going to be the best fisherman ever, but um, you say some pretty nasty stuff, my friend. So um, there you go. I'm here. I see a blue tent. Are oh, you? Yeah, you're down here. Can I come? Where are you? Come over and say hello if you are down here. Guys, thank you so much for Super Chats. I really do appreciate it. Absolute legends. Some Dollarados, the boy. Guys, thank you so much. That is insane. Lynn O, Big James, thank you so much. You'll come in, okay, no worries. I don't know if you're trolling or not, but if you are, do come over and say hello. Kojak as well, fishing frustrations. Guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the super chats. That is very, very generous of you. How you doing, Noreen? Balls, balls indeed. Colton, how you doing? You're welcome. Very, very kind of you. I'm scared. Colton, you are unfortunately being hit on the chat. We can't have stuff like that going on. Bit too random. Cheers, George, I appreciate it. Where are you, Noreen? Any luck, biker goes fishing? How you doing, mate? Welcome in. We've had one dogfish so far. We've probably got about 15 minutes left because I've got stuff to do later on this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we gave it a try. If you don't get out, you're never going to catch fish. I said, I'm never going to call myself a professional fisherman, but I do catch some decent fish here and there. My mum said I can't come. Are you in a viewing distance of me, are you? Or are you, uh, are you trolling? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Balad Mansing, how you doing, my friend? Good afternoon, welcome in. Absolute legends. Thank you so much for the Super Chats, everybody. Really do appreciate it. We do get quite a few trolls coming in on the vertical live streams that is the only problem with doing the vertical live streams we have got the moderators and myself to uh, sort out the naughty people from the nice people what do you mean a difference between angling and fishing did i miss something what's the difference um, from angling to standard fishing uh, I'm not sure. I think they're probably the same thing. Behind your tent? Okay, we've got a troll. Okay. I hope you catch uh, the eel of despair. I ain't falling for that one, Noreen. When you said mum with an MOM, that's uh, an American sort of thing, so gave you the benefit of the doubt. But I, uh, I'm not going to look behind my tent. Do appreciate it. We are going after an eel of despair. That would be nice. You know the eel from Insta. There you go, South Coast Dangler hit him, the boy. Uh, I used to ignore the trolls, they are fishing for reactions. I uh, try to defuse any trolls, do you know what I mean? If they want to come in and be silly, then they'll just get banned instantly. But um, most of the time, I uh, respond in a kind of nice manner. There's that guy, Lucky, he comes in and he says some pretty just rude stuff, really. But uh, I defuse it most of the time. And he sometimes says some uh, normal stuff. But... Um, yeah, recently he just says nasty stuff, so best not to have people like that around. Never comes into any of my other live streams, just on these ones and complains. Hailing Harry would have uh, shouted if there's anyone behind the shelter. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? The Eel of Despair from Instagram. I'm not sure. Uh, is this a lagoon, lake, ocean? What are you fishing for? This is a harbour mouth. Fishing the entrance of the harbour, Chichester Harbour between Hailing Island and West Wittering on the south coast of the United Kingdom. We are have in mind for targets of bass, rays, congas and uh, eels. Congas and eels are the same thing. Bass, rays, congas, smooth downs. And um, 
we've had one dogfish so far. We've been down here since about quarter past 12. It has been tough fishing. Haven't had the best of luck recently, but um, yeah, it is tough fishing in the winter. Nice, finally, uh, sometimes sensible. Sorry to be good, how you doing? Uh, I see uh, people fish from Piers Lakes. Uh, Matt said he was an angular, and as a novice, I can't see any difference. Let's go, eel of despair, the boy. No need feeding into the trolls, it gives them satisfaction. That is what it is, isn't it? Good luck, champ, I appreciate it, my friend. We've had one dogfish so far, Glenn. Alan, how you doing, mate? Good afternoon. Um, I mean, I think it's all based under the same thing, angling and fishing. It's probably the same, it's just a different word for the same thing. Fishing off a pier, fishing off a, a boat, fishing off the beach, fishing in the lake, fishing in a river, it's all fishing, isn't it? It's all fishing, just a different type of fishing. Right then, we've got a squid and, not squid, we've got a black lug and sand hill wrap ready to go out at some point. We will see what happens. I uh, don't think I've seen any bites on the rods. We may do our last bait change. Brian Angle, how you doing, Dev, mate? Welcome in. Need to get up to uh, Brighton and do some fishing with you, get a session on the go. Yo, got to add to the pile. Content truly appreciated, but now I expect a salesy video in the work, so it's worth the investment. Need tips for raising smooth downs. Brandon Toy with his first super chat, and it's £10 as well. What an absolute legend. Woo, the boy. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate the super chats. Um, yeah, salesy video, I can definitely get that in the works, but um, you may have to wait a little bit longer. I could potentially do a live stream down there next week if the tides are suitable, Brandon. Um, but yeah, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I'm live and when a video comes out. But um, yeah, I'll have a look into going to Selzy next week, doing a live stream, or it will be either, well, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, that sort of thing. But definitely can do that for you, Brandon. Happy days, we'll do some tips for the rays and smooth downs. Definitely can do that. We've got a couple of videos and a couple of live streams where we've caught rays. But um, in terms of tips for rays, you want to be using small baits, about the same size as your pinky finger, like that. Depends what sort of rays you want to go after. Thornback rays generally want to go after mackerel baits. Fresh mackerel is an absolute banger for rays. And then stuff like undulate rays, uh, small eyed rays, uh, blonde rays, they like squid and sand eel wraps and uh, single or double sand eel baits. What's up since the last salesy video? Nice, Brandon, I appreciate that. That's cool, give a, give a shout one, Matt. You have to come pick me up though, not a problem, brother. Going to Vietnam in May, and I uh, plan to go fishing in the village, see what they can get me on to, keen for that. That's fair play, mate. Yeah, it'd be nice for me to do some fishing in another location, another country. I'll uh, have to think about that. Uh, what's the best place to fish in Hailing? Depends where you want to go after, Alex, depends. Down uh, here in Sandy Point, it is good for smooth hounds, good for bass. That's the main two you can catch down here during the summer months. Uh, off the fail, Hailing Fun Fair, that's good for smooth hounds. And that area along East Oak is good for rays as well. We'll quickly do a big old soon for the super chats. Really do appreciate that. I'll quickly say who it was. It goes towards the channel, the bait, everything like that. Kojak, Fishing Frustrations, Lynn, James and Brandon. Guys and girls, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Absolute legends. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Right then, let's do a bait change and it'll probably be the last cast. And um, yeah, thanks Matt. Ooh, yeah, we're like an old Sue around here. We'll do a C for the super chat. Right, let's do our last bait change. And as I said, I have got some stuff to do this afternoon and then this evening as well, two different things. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Other than the wind, it is pretty nice weather down here. But um, yeah, we did go out fishing yesterday night and the night before. We did blank last night in awful conditions. If we had ragworm, we would have had a couple of bass, I imagine. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Night before, we had two little conger eels, and that was it. We had two trips down there. We lost four lots of uh, rigs and weights, so I'm not going to be going down there for a while, I don't think. Yeah, Brandon, more than 
happy to go down to Selsey if the tides are right. Right then, what bait was this? This was the black lug and squid. That doesn't look very much touched, to be honest. We will change it out with a black lug and sand eel wrap. Not the biggest fan of black lug, to be honest. It has its uses for flatfish down like Pevensey Bay and probably off of uh, East Stoke down hailing. But uh, other than that, obviously cod fishing down Chesil Beach and uh, Bristol Channel. But uh, I really haven't found a use for black lug myself. That makes me laugh, thank you very kindly. Had a couple of fishing sessions already this week. Yeah, George has been getting out, fair play to him. Is there any good fishing with rough conditions? Day slash night? Any good fish? What, any fishing spots or um, what do you mean? Bruce at Old Portsmouth, that tide can be fierce too. Indeed it is. Is there a bite him off to bed now? Have a good day slash night, you lot. Good to know you all, James C. I hope to see you in the next one, my friend. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I uh, hope to see you in one of the other live streams. Obviously, we are in the UK, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. So um, I'd normally be going live in about three hours time in the evening, so it's a bit difficult for you. But uh, we're normally live till about 12 p.m. our time. So yeah, can you explain the sea real sound? Well, the 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 sea noise or or what, Ollie? What do you mean? George has got a Facebook page that he posts on quite often. Quite informative on his Facebook. Fair play to him, he's a good lad, our George, he's a good lad. Right then, so we're gonna go for our last cast, everybody. Squid and sand eel on this one. I might put, um, not squid and sand eels, sand eel on black lug. I may put a different bait on the other one, to be fair. I don't know, I don't know. Coffee, happy day. Sorry, Miss Word. Is it worthwhile fishing during rough conditions, day slash night? Uh, definitely, definitely. If you never get out fishing, you're never going to catch a fish. That's the main thing. But uh, rough conditions can definitely be uh, more optimal for catching bass and stuff like that. But you're best off having worm baits for bass during the stormy times or a mackerel head or a Joe mackerel bait. I didn't have any of those last night. I uh, didn't expect it to be that rough, to be honest. I don't know why, but um, just didn't think to bring any mackerel with me. But yeah, it definitely is worth getting out on stormy conditions if you can find a spot that's going to be sort of out of the wind. Most people that do the bass fishing in stormy conditions only cast their bait out very much close in and then they're stood there holding their rods waiting for a bite. So uh, yes, yeah, a different type of fishing. Right then, last cast on this one. I think we probably should do a different bait on the other one, so I'll see if I can make something up. Hope you won't get snagged on this last cast. Another good cast into the channel out there. I think at points it's 40 foot deep down there, maybe even deeper. Whether we're getting into that bit or not, I don't know. But you would expect to be catching some better fish in that depth of water, to be honest. Who knows though? Hopefully South Coast Angler will debunk everything with his uh, fishing camera down his line. We shall see. He said yesterday he was getting a dogfish basically every cast as soon as he uh, let the bait go down. We might try a small squid bait. We'll do that. We'll do a small squid bait for the other rod. Happy days. Ooh. Right, let's make a small squid bait up. Take it easy, Alan. See you later, my friend. Have a good one. Good luck. I appreciate it. We are on our last cast, though, so uh, yeah. 60 people, 64 likes. Thank you for your support, everybody. We are going to get a smaller squid bait put on and give that a go on the other rod. Squid head on a flapper will do it. We're not going to get a flapper out dangler. I did have a flapper out earlier. I tried uh, black lug tip squid. But uh, squid tip black lug, yeah, that way. But we didn't get anything on that. So we are just going to go with the whole squid on a pulley rig. See you all soon, Roger Medman. See you later, my friend. Cheers for popping in, do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, do hit that sub button, do appreciate it. This live has convinced me I'm going uh, tomorrow, 8.45 p.m. high, after dinner treat. Brandon, happy days, mate. Do let us know how you get on. If you've got Facebook, post it in one of the local group chat sort of thing, 
and uh, do be sure to tell me how you get on in my next live stream or even comment on this one. Cool our next blood, how you doing mate, welcome in. Yeah, comment on this live stream or one of my videos, how you get in down, uh, down Salesy. But I'll definitely try and get out down that way uh, for a live stream either this week or uh, the start of next week. Your PayPal's not showing, bud? Not sure, Ski. It should be in the description of the channel, but I don't know other than that. Uh, Matt and Dan, are there no flatties there? Or is it just you've never targeted them? Surprised you've never seen uh, to get a flounder? I wouldn't imagine there'd be flounder around here. Place, definitely. Turbot, maybe. Um, but I wouldn't imagine getting flounder down here. It's not a muddy bottom. Nature's Beauty, how you doing? We have tried with ragworm down here in Blacklug before. But I don't know. I haven't really done much scratching with small... Seals eat them all? Yeah, there you go. I haven't really tried with small hooks down here. I did get myself some bait elastic. It looks a little bit... Um, thicker. Not on mine. Your paper, I'm not sure. What? What? Got to go. Dog needs a walk. See you soon. Cheers and tight lines. Nick the fish. Happy days. Cheers for coming on, Nick. Right, let's go get some stuff packed away into a bag like the bait, stuff like that. I'm not sure what you mean, Skeet, my friend, not gonna lie. I'm not sure. PayPal's working here. Weird, Matt C, how you doing, mate? The boy, great name, as always. Still got a little bit of bait left we can take home and use for another session. That black plug, as I said, I'm gonna keep that in my tackle box, I think, or uh, at least out somewhere to get nice and stinky and sticky. So we'll be able to use that on Sunday, I guess, if we go out. Did have some octopus with me. Like I said, I want to use some octopus and try and give that a go as a bait, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, to be honest. It's showing on the channel page, but not on the description of his video, if that's what you mean. I'm all good, Tao, hope you're all good. You're in. Yeah, mate, not too bad. Would have been nice to fish a little bit longer down here, but we unfortunately won't be able to. I say we will be uh, ending the live stream soon. Need to get that right hand rod in and re-bait that in now, and then uh, be getting out of here. To be fair, yeah, I need to be getting out of here pretty quickly. So I'm um, going to get that in. Probably only get about 10 minutes on this rod and I'll start packing other stuff down and uh, get out of here. Gonna take me 15 minutes or so to get everything packed up and then 10 minutes to walk back to the car, so. There's a little bit of weight on here, but I don't feel enough to be a dogfish, to be honest. Yeah, nothing on here. Uh, the double sand eel bait as well, that's uh, ideal for a dog dog. I think this one sort of uh, came loose as well when we cast out, so it got a little bit tangled up, which doesn't help to be fair. Right then. What time am I going to have to get back, boy? Half past, you know, maybe. To be fair, I may not be able to get a last cast on this one because I have. Between 15 minutes getting over. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, probably best not getting a cast on that one. I did say three o'clock, so I messed up there. We'll um, keep that last rod out there, but uh, this one we are going to pack away because otherwise I will be late for a doctor's appointment. And if I'm late, I won't get it basically. Don't want to be messing that up. To be fair, it's not even that important one, really, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. It is what it is. Would have been nice to have a different time. So, yeah, we are on our last cast on my left-hand rod, everybody. That is a sand eel and black lug bait. We are going to get the other rod packed down and uh, the rest of our gear packed down as well, hopefully. I don't know if we're going to take the tent down. Might have to do that last because uh, the wind will probably blow my phone over, which is not fun. But we'll give that until about 10 past. I thought that was a missile launcher. What do you mean, brother? I 
What do you mean? Oh, we got another silly billy coming in. Oops. <laughs> fair play. Bit random, but fair play. Thank you everyone, welcome me in the group. You're welcome Sherry, we've got a lovely community going on around here. We do have a very, very nice community. We've got some great people. Right, so I wash my bucket out and wash this bag out as well and get rid of some bait. Uh, kind of like one without the fishing pole in the middle. Oh, I see. It's like those guys that were spin fishing have gone. Didn't see them catch any bass or anything. It is a good spot for lure fishing down here. For bass, I think someone caught a herring down here on a lure as well at some point, when me and Dan were down here. That's a bit of a weird one. Let's see if we can get a fish on our last cast. We only had one dogfish so far, so a bit of a disappointing day. We'll hopefully be able to get a video out on Friday, everybody. It won't be of this session down here, but that is not a problem. Do appreciate everyone's support. Obviously there's gonna be a few trolls coming in here and there, especially in these vertical live streams. Not much we can do about it, but um, yeah, just ignore it basically. Not too bothered. One thing I love that this community is not toxic, second live watching many to come. Cowless, I appreciate it very much. Yeah, we uh, take care of the people in the chat. We uh, care about everyone and um, we do moderate the chat as well. We don't let it just be a free for all basically. Got some good people in the chat. Definitely back. I'm gonna look for George's Facebook page, Sherry. I appreciate it. I'm subscribing, nice one, the white. I do appreciate it. I found this child just scrolling through my YouTube. Happy days. Any luck, Andrew, we've had one dogfish and that is it. We are on our last cast, so I'm about to get some stuff packed away. W-Y-A, where are you at? Michael Stone, I'm guessing that's where you at. We are down Hailing Island, my friend. Dangler had 10 dogfish down here yesterday. We've only had one, unfortunately. Morning, mate. Just woke up 8 a.m. in the morning, getting ready for my uh, flight. Happy days, Maverick, mate. Where are you going? You may have said that yesterday. I can't remember. Too much stuff to remember. All right, let's get this rod packed down. Struggling with existence at the minute. There you go. Cool. Yeah, realistically, we'll probably fish this for another two or three hours, I'd imagine. But we just haven't got the time for it today. Want to be careful with this reel, packing it up nicely. It's the old Pen Tidal XT. Brand new reel. One of the cool things is you can uh, reverse wind it like that. I think that's on other reels as well, and just fold it in like that and you got it packed away. We don't have a real bag or anything like that for it. I did look into getting a real bag, but I've just found that putting it in a hat, just like that, and put it in a tackle box, happy days, that'll get most of the scuffing, sort all that stuff out. I'm a five day trip all around the States, the joy of being a pilot. Oh, happy days, that'd be nice, 4 a.m. for me, fair play, need to get some sleep, mate. 
Uh, Matt Turner Docks didn't get any crabs today. Yeah, that's the one. West Cork Fish afternoon, all just home from work, no bait, so watch you instead for a little while, uh, at least it seems. Yeah, we're literally on our last cast, unfortunately, as I've got stuff to do. But uh, I appreciate you coming in, West Cork, my brother. Oh, I've got some other stuff to be doing today, unfortunately. Would have loved to stay down here, or at least fish somewhere else. But uh, yeah, the wind's pretty nasty this evening anyway. Sarah Arthur, I love fishing. Happy days, welcome in. Matt, great live bud. Chat, take care, Skeet. I appreciate it, my friend. We've still got one cast to go, 10 a.m. Fair enough, Malza, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. Yeah, we got a uh, bait out there, sand eel and black lug wrap. I'm not the biggest fan of black lug, did buy some more today, but um, yeah, not looking too good at the minute. We had probably four or five bites throughout the day. And we caught one dogfish so far. You never know, that rod could take off with a bass. It's pretty decent bait for a bass, but um, just haven't been that lucky recently. Yeah, gonna be going to Selzy uh, sometime this week, next week. After session, after work session on Sunday maybe. Or maybe an evening session on Monday, we shall see. I'll have to check the tides. We're giving it to 10 past everybody and then we are going to pack that rod away. I'll probably end the live stream and uh, get everything sorted quickly. Because I do need to get out of here pretty quickly. Going to take the microphones off as well. Hello, should be able to hear me, hopefully. What a lovely day on the south coast. TK, how you doing, mate? We are unfortunately just finishing up. We literally have two minutes or so on that left-hand rod and we are going to be sending it home. I could burn the entire day down here trying to catch some fish, but I've got stuff to do, unfortunately. But apart from the wind, it is a pretty lovely day. Right then, that's everything I'll pack away. Seaways order just arrived, highly recommended, good stuff. What did you order, Jimmy Fish? What did you order? Do tell, do tell. Oh, one more minute and we'll bring that rod in. Just want to say a massive thank you to the super chatters of this live stream. Really do appreciate the support. We had Kojak, we had Fishing Frustrations, we had Lynn O, we had James C, we had Brandon. Guys, thank you so much, guys and girls. Do very much appreciate it. It gets pumped right back into the channel for bait, for stuff like that. and. Um, equipment really does help bye have a good day the wire i appreciate it my friend you too take it easy matt see you all later matt see the boy yeah haven't seen any bites on this rod we need to bring it in when the clock hit tens past there we go ten past
yeah, that's what I convinced myself that I may have had a re on there because we had a very strong pull down and uh, lots of weight on it. And it started feeling like I was fighting back, but it turns out we pulled someone else's rig. We got a weight there, some sort of lift down uh, thing for a hook, and then we got a some sort of shark egg. What's something like that on there? Oh, cool. No hook will uh, take the weight, definitely, and um, dispose of that stuff. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the channel. People who super chatted today really do appreciate it. That really does help the channel as well. Um, yeah, hopefully we will be out on one of the upcoming days on Sunday, Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we have one dog bit this century and a weight. That's, uh, that's very good. We like catching weights, that's good. Thank you very kindly for that one. But yeah, I do have to shoot off pretty quickly as I've got stuff to do. So I do really appreciate everybody. Every, blah, 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 blah. I do really appreciate everybody. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Have a good one, everyone. Cowless, thanks so much. Kojak, everybody, thanks so much. Puds, safe trip. Hope you'll catch up later, everybody. And uh, if I can, I'll get a video out for Friday. See you all later. And yeah, Merry Christmas. See you.